is your inspiration for music today? The most honest response would be uh, me. But I, I will say that. this. There was a time when I'd been disillusioned through those high school experiences with bandmates who just didn't have the passion to actually pursue anything and just focus on poetry for a while because that was something I could do by myself. And when I was at like 17 or whatever, I thought, well, if I don't, if I don't need to collaborate with anyone else, I'll never be let down by someone else. And they realized, well, that's, that's a stupid way to look at things. I had friends who said, well, they want to stop dating because they're sick of being disappointed. And it's like, if something's important to you, you'll get through the disappointment. It was a, a, as I was like, as my mind was subconsciously processing a return to music, it was also grappling with the fact that like, I couldn't really play an instrument and I didn't have any sort of natural voice. Like even like people like Bob Dylan and Leonard Cohen could at least like write music on guitar, right? And I couldn't even do that at the time. So I thought, well, is there anyone who only has like stage presence and lyricism? And I thought Iggy Pop only has that. Mm -hmm. And he's made a successful career in rock music for several decades. So if that dude can do it, like I'll give it a shot. Iggy Pop was probably like the final catalyst that helped me decide to pursue music. And after that, I never looked back. And I also, I later learned that he actually started out in a very similar way to me, he also started out in high school bands as a drummer who couldn't really drum very well. Uh, so yeah, that, that hit me, that point of coincidence. So yeah, I love that dude. He's probably one of my biggest motivators, external motivators for getting into singing specifically. Mm -hmm.